Netflix might be buzzing with Ricky Gervais' Armageddon, but we've got our own epic saga, the Norse mythological smackdown known as Ragnarok, and trust me, it's the original Armageddon with a Viking twist. And the endgame? Well, Ragnarok promises an apocalyptic battle. Not just a sprinkle, mind you, but a full-blown showdown where everything goes kaboom. Giants, gods, and other beings tearing it up like it's the ultimate battle royale. Ragnarok, it's not just a word, it's the end-all be-all battle of Norse mythology, making Armageddon look like a tea party. Before Ragnarok even knew how to spell chaos, the world got a frosty slap from Thimblewinter. Three years of Mother Nature's icy side-eye, making even the sun think, maybe I'll just call in sick? Now, who's the puppet master behind this frosty saga? None other than Loki. Crafty as ever, he puts on a disguise, taking on the persona of a woman to extract insider info from Frick. What's the hot gossip? That mistletoe was the one thing that hadn't vowed to keep Baldur, the radiant god of light and pride of Asgard, safe from harm. Seizing this opportunity, Loki crafts an arrow with mistletoe and cleverly persuades Hoder, the blind brother, into taking the shot at Baldur. With the deed done, Loki sets sail with the giants, because stirring chaos. That's his jam. His stage might be Asgard, but trust me, the audience is in for a frosty surprise. Enter Fenrir, our neighborhood wolf who's been hitting the gym and definitely skipping leg day. This dude isn't just snack-sized, he's looking to munch down on the entire universe. Now, Odin steps up, thinking he's got the moves. But Fenrir swallowed him whole and Odin's gone. Enter Vidar, with a vengeance plan so cinematic, Michael Bay would ask for pointers. With sheer determination and the strength of the gods, Vidar approaches the monstrous Fenrir, using his bare hands to grip Fenrir's jaws wide open. With a swift motion, Vidar plunges his sword straight into the wolf's throat, ending the threat of Fenrir once and for all. Talk about a revenge plot twist. But hold on to your hammers. Jormungandr and Hel, the goddess of death, didn't want to miss this epic bash. It's like the Met Gala of apocalyptic showdowns, gods, giants, and a sprinkle of doom. Thur versus Jormungandr. Think of it as the battle of the century, but with more lightning and fewer boxing gloves. This serpent gives Thor a run for his money. They've got this beef, destined to end in a battle that's the talk of all the realms. Netflix might have Ricky Gervais, but we've got a giant serpent monster showdown. Thor, ever the brave soul, yanks Jormungand from the depths, ready for an epic face-off. The tension's palpable, and Jormungandr's all like, have some poison. But Thor, he's not one to back down. Just as he's about to land that final, epic blow with Mjolnir, Thor swings Mjolnir like he's in a home run derby. He wins, but that venom? It's like that takeout, takes you out when you least expect it. As the world does its best impression of a disappearing act, Ragnarok's grand finale is a spectacle. But plot twist, from all this chaos rises a phoenix-like new world, suggesting that endings? Just a setup for the sequel. So, while you're binging on that other, end of the world, comedy, remember, Norse myths did it first, and dare we say, with a touch more sass. Click that subscribe button if you're ready for more mythological mischief. After all, who doesn't love a bit of ancient drama with a modern twist?